Tranexamic acid for clinical practice. Tranexamic acid is a synthetic antifibrinolytic agent that stabilizes blood clots by blocking lysine binding sites on plasminogen. This prevents fibrin degradation, making it effective in controlling bleeding. Its use spans multiple clinical scenarios supported by high-quality evidence. Below, we outline dosing strategies for key indications based on current research. Postpartum hemorrhage. In postpartum hemorrhage, early administration of tranexamic acid improves outcomes. The recommended dose is 1 gram intravenously over 10 minutes given within 3 hours of bleeding onset. If bleeding continues or recurs within 24 hours, a second dose of 1 gram may be given. This approach is supported by the WOMAN trial, which showed reduced mortality when tranexamic acid was given promptly. Clinicians should monitor for persistent or recurrent bleeding and consider redosing when necessary. Major Trauma and Traumatic Brain Injury For major trauma, including mild to moderate traumatic brain injury, early tranexamic acid administration is critical. The standard dose is 1 gram intravenously over 10 minutes, ideally within 3 hours of injury. Some protocols recommend a maintenance infusion of 1 gram over 8 hours or a single 2 gram bolus over 20 minutes. The CRASH-2 and CRASH-3 trials confirm its safety in traumatic brain injury with no increased risk of cerebral thrombosis when given within the recommended window. Non-cardiac surgery. For non-cardiac surgery, the standard regimen is 1 gram intravenously over 10 minutes before skin incision with a repeat dose at the end of surgery. This reduces perioperative blood loss and transfusion requirements. Cardiac surgery. In cardiac surgery, dosing is more cautious due to thrombotic risks. The recommended dose is 50 to 100 mg per kilogram intravenously over 30 minutes after anesthetic induction. Individual patient factors should guide dosing decisions. Orthopedic surgery. For orthopedic procedures, a single 1 gram intravenous dose before incision is typically sufficient. Some protocols include additional intraoperative or postoperative doses, but evidence supports the effectiveness of a single preoperative dose. Gastrointestinal bleeding. Current evidence does not support routine use of tranexamic acid in gastrointestinal bleeding. Studies show inconsistent benefits and potential thromboembolic risks outweigh advantages in this population. Pediatric dosing. In children, dosing is weight-based. For trauma or non-cardiac surgery, the loading dose is 15 mg per kilogram, maximum 1 gram, over 10 minutes, followed by a maintenance infusion of 2 mg per kilogram per hour until bleeding is controlled or surgery concludes. This adapts adult protocols to pediatric pharmacokinetics. Conclusion Tranexamic acid is a well-established treatment for bleeding across multiple clinical settings. Dosing varies by indication, with emphasis on early administration in trauma and postpartum hemorrhage. Surgical use requires procedure-specific adjustments, while pediatric dosing follows weight-based guidelines. Clinicians must weigh benefits against thrombotic risks, particularly in high-risk populations.